pure understanding, the second part. Now we come on to the functioning, the development of these. Now here we have, remember that you know, if you don't, these are the chakras. There's the chakra at the base of the spine, the sexual chakra, the, the navel, <coughs> the heart, the <coughs> solar plexus, the throat, <coughs> the third eye, the thousand petal lotus. A thousand petal lotus is floating above the head. The golden flower. But here we, we have this triangle, the pressure triangle. So they've got the body, the wood, and the mouth. So you've got the, the food, the vegetables, going into the mouth, creating the body. You've got the hands reaching out for the food that go to the mouth that create the body. Now if you go back into the minute level, You've got vegetable, you know, plant life creating the stones, creating the stones. All of life creating the stones around us, even the granite from living creatures. You've got these cells, which is on this level we think of the vegetables going into the mouth creating the body that generates this heat center, sexual center which will relate more to the animal so we've got animal vegetable, mineral <coughs> and then we've got gravity you know the real thing so you look at the, on it at the molecular level you can see a molecule you can see it's in a certain position <coughs> that position can be rotated through touch, but its position can be felt through touch. If the touch can sense that object or the pressure, the osmotic pressure, the pressure within those molecules, and then that can identify that pressure and shape becomes the identification of that particular molecule. So this is understanding this triangle, pressure triangle, which should be located into the navel chakra. This is where we get the anxiety over the flow of things, the, the food, <coughs> you know, anorexia, <coughs> gluttony, <coughs> all sorts of, you know, fancy tastes, all sorts of delicate touch, touches, but still the development of these three dimensions. Now a lot of New Ages mistake these as the first three dimensions. They call these dimensions the three dimensions, but they're not the three dimensions. And they're one, two, and they're to the fifth. They're the th first three dimensions, and they're the third and the fourth in a space-time. But really what we call the material world is down here under the pressures and gravity. This is in quantum gravity, the position. And all of that pressure over food and the flow of things, this is the flow of things, that pressure, that's that pressure signal changes as the flow of things, it becomes a pressure on the stomach. That's why in the Tai Chi they say lead with the stomach. Lead with the stomach. Against the pressure. To feel the pressure, the flow of that energy in that flow of things. But, you know, so in a wild creature, it collects the food with touch and identifies that in its mouth by its taste 
and then that keeps feeding its body, which creates the energy for it to live its life on the next le next levels. So it can live its dream. So all of that pressure is there, concentrated the navel chakra. That creates this, you know, the food creates the energy to have, to have sex and reproduce, and that enters on the sm space time, space time axis. You know, planning, you know, a date. You know, according to different observations and different times. That that's the thing. The, the sex needs the time and the, and the space. So there's movement there in time and space. And all of this is focused on the audio signal, which is the soundtrack to our lives, which is the sounds we are hearing and the sounds we're creating. You know, the vibrations that we're receiving and the vibrations that we're transmitting. Remember back here to the focus. It's the focus of our intent and then the pressure on us from others. And this is the same thing, is the focus, is that pressure on the audio, on the vo on on the voice. So we we all know people who get you know stressed out with their voice, become weary in their voice, become intolerable in their voice, become boring in their voice, reflecting the world that they live in. So they reflect the world they're living with the sounds they're making and obviously the world they're living is the state of their mind, what they're projecting. And you can hear it in their voice, this is the problem with the tone of the voice. This is how arguments start, you know, especially within the family. But we're very empathic, very sensitive to tones of voice. And this becomes a cycle, doesn't it? You know, a cycle. Tones of voice, friction, you know, intensity, love, hate, you know, severity, you know, <coughs> good and bad, and <coughs> up and down. This is space time. So they come focused in the audio. Now, in the third eye here, it becomes focused the video, you know, little, the, the cartoon track of our lives and memory, you know, everything running about and here, there and everywhere and, you know, doing this job and that job and this function, that function, all the acting that's happening here <coughs> is played out <coughs> in the video <coughs> and in the, in the relationships, the intensity of the relationship between all those characters coming from these, you know, childhood relationships. And this is the video where we can see, if you like, in the future, if our conscience, we can see into the future the consequences of action, present, behavior. We can see, we can read the faces, we can know the relationships, we can know the course of events, we can enjoy the drama acting out and the movements, you know, and, and the, you know, so we've got the eating, and the sex, and then the, the, then the the that is a spiritual relationship, which obviously is the most important. This is why the focus should be free, and this should stay in control of the family, and the, the family should be the greater community, but real people, not imaginary people, not people who can't possibly be real. Not a, a artificial authority figures imposed from outside. The authority figures should be the fa your father, you know what I mean, the, the elders of the community. But what happens is we become a subject people. We are, we've had our elders taken away from us and we've had substitutes focused to focus on false gods. But by that land taken from us, by the same people, by the same family. Mm -hmm. 
This is the focus.